George's credit for Brody McPhee, they're 10 to 1. Dylan, Dylan Sam, we talked about Kenny Murphy looking for a double, 15 to 1. Doc Darrell here taking some money for Colin Shepard, 8 to 1. Then it's leaving Bruises, Grand Ave legend, and Marley's boy coming off a win, moving on up the ladder here for Dowling tonight. Dowling won the last one, so David looking for the deuce as well in the win column here tonight. Metro Home Building Center starting gate, slowly getting into position here, running out of time to get your tickets in the sixth. Metro Home Building Center starting gate rolling here for race number six from Red Shores in Charlottetown tonight. Let's go back upstairs to track announcer Vance Cameron for the race call. Century Invictus, George's credit, Dylan Sam, Doc Darrell leaving bruises, Grand Ave legend, Marley's boys on the outside. It's the sixth race on the gate, now at the top of the stretch. Ready for a start. The rough and pacing from the middle, Doc Darrell, between horses, George's credit, Century and Victor's along the rail, leads them all out to get away fourth, Dylan Sam, then fifth, leaving bruises. Grand Ave Legend is six, trailing the field. Marley's boy up the backstretch they go. Up the rail, Century Invictus is the leader. Short-lived, here's Doc Darrell and Colin Shepard to take over that lead. Century Invictus is second, and the Blue Knight says it's given go time on the front end. Here comes Century Invictus. Back to the lead. Second is Doc Darrell, then third, George's credit, 28 and four the opening quarter. Racing from fourth is Dylan Sam, then in fifth is Levin Bruises, six is Grand Ave Legend, and in the backfield, Marley's boy, the trailer, down the stretch for time one, approaching the opening half mile, Century and Victus halfway home. Second, that is Doc Darrell, George's credit, third, and there goes Levin Bruises. First up, fourth, following the cover out, fifth. That's Grand Ave Legend. Back to six is Dylan Sam. And Marley's boy plays catch up seventh. The opening half mile up in 58 and two. Wheeling on by the 5-H pole, led by Century Invictus. Second is Doc Terrell, George's credit third. Leaving Bruises, fourth on the outside. Grand Ave Legend on the outside, fifth. On the cone, six is Dylan Sam. And on the outside, seventh, Marley's boy. The three-quarters goes to Century Invictus in one. 28 and one on the turn for the final time. Approaching seven, eight, Century Invictus. Homeward bound, Doc Terrell second, leaving bruises third, George's credit fourth, down the stretch they come, Century and Victor's almost there, Doc Terrell on the outside coming late but too late, Century and Victor's will double up the Blue Knight use, Doc Terrell second, leaving bruises third in 157 and 01. Okay, here's the slow-mo for race number six from Red Shores in Charlottetown tonight. Brought to you by Universal Media. He was on the drop tonight, and inside he was going to be very, very tough from the cones here tonight. And Jason didn't wait long. The one, the two, and the four, they went hard off the wings. Actually, four, Doc Darrell led briefly. Jason out and around 28 and four, 58 and two for Doc Darrell sitting in the two hole, 128 and one. Jason, a little peek over here down the stretch because four is coming on late again, but no, he's got it in hand. 157 and one century and Victus on the drop for Hughes in the sixth.
century Invictus goes to the six race winner's circle by pacing down five of Edder's Delight from the McCardle Dam Strike Accord. Owned by John Collings of Brudenell, bred by Century Spring Farms of Ontario. Trainer Ashley Gamester doubles up, and the Blue Knight Jason Hughes as the driver. He doubles up the mile in 157 and one for Century Invictus. Picks up his 20th lifetime victory tonight at Charlottetown.